All right, we're going to try looking at a couple of galaxies here in near real time. First up in the constellation Draco is the galaxy M102, also known as one of the missing Neb Messier objects. Um, it's about, uh, according to my catalog, it's called M102, magnitude 7.7. .7. Looks like a classic small flying saucer shape. It's uh, tip to tip orientation from left to right. Clock angles, I would say the left tip's around 10 o'clock, right tip's around 4 o'clock. And it probably can't be made out in this video, but there's a very skinny, fine dust lane going across that galaxy. It's bisecting the top and bottom. It doesn't really show here in the video unless you try to imagine it. In a still, I can make it out, and I did take some stills of this guy. But this is an interesting, pretty bright galaxy in the constellation Draco. Next to another famous galaxy, which we're going to go to next, uh, NGC... Let's go there first. We're going to slew to it right now. Okay, NGC 5907, a much larger, at least apparently larger, galaxy. This is again another edge on, dimmer at magnitude 10.4. This also has a dust, dust lane. Let's see, this guy's oriented so that his left tip is, say, at about the 8 o'clock position, and the right tip is like at the 2 o'clock position. And there's a bit of a dust lane kind of in the center, just above the nucleus of the galaxy. Uh, a little hard to make out to show better again in stills, but these are two real-time shots of uh, a couple of galaxies in the constellation Draco, shooting from Mount Pinus, California. Magnification is about 120 power, and we're using Gen 3 uh, unfilmed white phosphor image intensification and a Sony Alpha 7S camera on the back end. Telescopes, a Takahashi Milan 250. 250 millimeters of clear aperture, and we're at F12. Pretty slow, but it works. Pretty slow optics, but it does work. Okay, so that's two galaxies in Draco. Call that dude a wrap, and uh, that's it.